Hello traders, welcome to Snipe the Trade. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install our uh, trade copier directly into your MT4 platform. The first thing you're going to receive from us once you subscribe to our services is this welcome email. On the e welcome email, you're going to get your account login, the uh, password for the MT4 EA, and the password for the website or for the members area. Now, the first thing you need to do is click here to log into the members area because you need to activate your EA and you are going to use the um, account login that we gave you, which is actually the email that uh, you use to subscribe to our services and the website password. All right. So let's log in and uh, let's see what we have here. And as you can see, your client EA is not yet activated. You must activate it in the Connect MT4 account tab. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to profile and you are going to click on connect your EA. And I have read and understood and accept these terms and conditions and you need to activate your EA. Because if you don't activate your EA, even if you install it into your MT4 platform, it will not work. Now, uh, once this is done, uh, we can see that if we go to signal providers, you are you can see that we are already following uh, uh, Snipe the trade uh, or our signals and uh, you have your personal details, etc. Now we can log out of the members area and now we are going to click here to download the software that we are going to um, load into our MT4. So let's click here. And you will see it's uh, very easy to use software and very easy to install software. So I'm going to pause the video until this download is complete and then I'm going to come back. All right, now that the, um, well, the client EA has been downloaded, just click it to open the zip file. And on the zip file, you can see that you're going to have the .exe and an instruction manual, all right? So what you want to do here is double click the auto installer and the installation wizard will pop up. And uh, once the installation wizard pops up, you can see right here that we have the terms and conditions of uh, uh, our, our signal provider and client agreement. So you have to accept the agreement and click on next. And uh, the, the auto installer is going to search for the MetaTrader folders in your PC. So now that uh, the um, auto installer has detected all of our folders, we are going to choose the one we are going to use. In this case, we are going to use Pepperstone because that is the MetaTrader 4 that I will use uh, to copy Snipe the Trade trades. So we click on next and that's it. Now the EA has been installed into your uh, MetaTrader 4. Now, let me open uh, Pepperstone, this is MetaTrader, and I have it right here. And as you can see, we have the Expert Advisor uh, tab that I'm going to refresh to see if I have the SD client or Snyder Trade Clients EA in it. And as you can see, I do have it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click and drag it to one, any chart, to any chart that you um, that you have on your, on your MT4. And uh, uh, we are going to allow the DL imports and we are going to look for the password, all right? And the password is in your, or in the email that we uh, sent you or the welcome email that we sent you at the beginning. So let, we, we're going to do that. We're going to add it or put the password into our EA and we're going to click OK. And uh, as you can see, we do have uh, a, um, uh, let me just click it on. SE EA Advanced is running in passive mode. This means that it's not going to copy any trades. You need to click on auto trading for uh, the, uh, for the EA to copy the trades that we sent you via it. So basically, that's how you install Snipe the Trades Auto Trader into your MT4. And remember, if you want to have your trades copied, you need to have this uh, EA running on a front, um, 
uh, chart. This means that, for example, if you have different profiles and uh, we are using the default profile and you go to a different profile, then the EA will stop working. So what we do here is we just put it on a chart and leave it right here at the top running.